and I thank you all for coming here, making your way here. Uh, I, I want to remind you that please take a copy or copies of the December issue. We're really here uh, today um, to uh, award the second um, BCC Observer Scholastic Journalism Award to Mr. Will McGinnis. He's the online product manager at the Fall River Herald News. And, <clears throat> and the, um, the staff here, I am going to, uh, as in all things in this newspaper, hard as it might be to believe, uh, I'm going to turn this whole event over to the students to run. And before I do that, um, I do want to thank uh, Lisa Stratton, who's the editor-in-chief of the Fall River Herald News and the Taunton Daily Gazette. Uh, she, uh, a semester ago, gave us the green light to make a link between the Observer News and the Fall River Herald News and the Taunton Daily Gazette. And like in anything in the administrative capacity, getting that green light was important. But getting somebody to actually physically do it was even more important, and that's the role that Will played. He actually went from the idea that we are going to do it to actually putting it up live, and he's worked constantly with us. He's been over several times, and he's a real uh, asset and a treasure to this group. Uh, I want to thank, personally, as the faculty advisor, all of the uh, Observer staff. I couldn't be... Uh, really couldn't be more proud of them. This is a, uh, a really a plucky band of passionate, uh, energized, and dedicated students, uh, which just kind of goes to show you what uh, drinking a lot of caffeine will do for you. In any event, uh, I am going to turn uh, this over to Sarah Mulvey, and Sarah has uh, served as our editor-in-chief for the last two issues. And, and before I turn it over to Sarah, I, I, I just must have to say that the Observer, or the New Observer, uh, the student-run newspaper, uh, this only began two semesters ago. So we've only had two semesters in which these students have managed to uh, produce a, and I'm using a quote from Roger Williams University, who advertises with us, who sent us an email after they saw this online. They said, it is a spectacular newspaper, and we're proud to be part of it. Sarah Mulvey, thank you. Good morning. Um, as Jack said, I'm Sarah Mulvey. Um, I've been the editor-in-chief for the November and December issues. Um, and I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the staff. Um, all of the people I've worked with the past two months have made my experience so much better. And it shows in the product we've produced. Um, I'd like to thank Ryan Pease who served as our editor-in-chief for September and October. Um, and he is also the photo editor. Um, he takes pretty much every single photo that you see in this issue and the past issues. Um, his work is amazing. He has helped us. Without him, most of this stuff would just be print. And that's no fun for anybody. Um, we also need to thank Jill Carrero, who was responsible for the spread of the Great Canoe Race last month. Um, she helped us immensely um, with that and with other issues. Um, we have to thank Sally Cameron for developing our e-learning contacts. Um, we have an article in this issue about e-learning along with uh, an ad um, advertising the new courses available. Um, we also would like to thank TCI Press, especially Fred Geary and Anne Marie DiCaprio. Um, for their help each and every month um, designing and printing our newspaper. Okay, um, we have to give a special thank you to Mike Vieira, Sarah Garrett, and John, uh, President Spraga for all their support and their guidance over the past few semesters. Um, without them, we you know, wouldn't have our contacts with the rest of the school. Um, they've supported us, you know, sent us feedback saying, you know, great issues, good job, keep up the good work. And without that, it's hard for kids like us to see where we're, where we're headed and how we're affecting people. And it's really important to know that as a journalist. Um, we've also made some huge um, additions to our staff over the last few months. Um, I'm throwing away my notes, hang on. Um, Chris Proctor is our new music editor. He did the music review 
um, in this issue and uh, some great holiday ideas for any college student in your gift list. Um, Ashley Martins is one of our feature editors. She's not here right now, but she worked on the fashion story along with Katrina and Janine. Um, she is also the author of our front page story on bullying. Um, Anna Loretto is our sports manager, uh, sports editor, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, she did an amazing uh, article last issue, um, and she did one in this issue as well. She's organized the sports um, section for us. Um, as I said before, Katrina Mercier and Janine Barrow have come aboard as our fashion editors. There's a huge spread on the second page of our, uh, I'm sorry, the third page of our December issue. They did that article together and they are also two of the four models along with Gretchen, uh, Gretchen and Ashley who helped model the feature looks. Um, and we have also added Tom Dykeman, Ashley Moniz, and Sean Wilcoxon as our reporting staff. And I believe that's it for me. I'm gonna turn it over to Chris Wilbur. And thank you very much. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you all. Well, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Um, we've had a lot of fun over the past um, few semesters getting together and, and work and working. It's, it's been a learning experience for us all. Um, it's my pleasure to report now that our paper is not only self-sufficient, with the last, um, with the last uh, issue, we've gone profitable. And um, thank you. I remember when we were just beginning to scrape by, and now it seems like our boat is sailing. Um, we've had advertising with Roger Williams, with our own BCC eHealth. Um, even we've had non-academic ads, and this is a first for us. And that is with the Northeast Medical Associates um, <coughs> of Dartmouth, and they have an ad on asthma. We've been so successful that even um, in my own group, Phi Theta Kappa, our uh, Vice President for, for Public Relations asked me if we were going to do advertising with the Observer, and he had no idea that I had anything to do with the Observer. So the reach is so far that it's getting even to places that we never dreamed. Um, Massasoit Community College is interested in creating their own paper, and they've reached out to us to you know, send a hand and show them how it's done. So I want to say to Jack Conway, thank you, Jack. Um, you said if they would build, if we built it, they would come. <laughs> well, Jack, I think we built it, and Jack, they've come. So thank you, and thank you to everyone. Hi, I'm Katrina Mercier. I'm the fashion editor here at BCC and for the Observer. Um, I'm graduating BCC in the spring and transferring to Bridgewater in the fall. Uh, over the past semester, we have made great strides. We have made arrangements with the BCC television through Keith Tybo and to link up with the monthly television program to announce and broadcast Observer News. Hi, my name is Janine Barreo. I'm graduating next spring. Um, this is my first semester with the BCC newspaper. I helped out with the fashion um, piece for this paper. Um, I'm proud to say that our students' work can now be read far and wide um, because we are now linked to the Paul River Herald News and the Taunton Daily Gazette. Um, back to Sarah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, our links to these newspapers could not have happened without the support of Miss Lisa Stratton, who is the editor in chief of both the Taunton Gazette, uh, the Herald News, and the Taunton Gazette. Um, and she was, uh, you know, she gave us, as Jack said, the green light. But Will McGinnis here has been the uh, proactive um, man who made it happen. I guess we could say um, he serves as the online. Um, production manager for the Fall River Herald News um, and he took the idea um, you know a tiny little thing that we had talked about in our meetings before the semester began and uh, he made it a reality and now it's better than we had expected it would be you know we never expected to have two newspapers uh, you know taking our stories putting them out there online where their entire readership can you know easily access them and read what we've written. 
Um, and so we would like to take this opportunity to recognize Will's hard work and his achievement. And um, on behalf of the Bristol Community College Observer, um, we would like to thank you. And we are pleased to present you with the second annual uh, BCC Observer Scholastic Journalism Award. <laughs> All right. Well, it's easy to um, you know look at this December edition and see the huge improvements that you know Jack and his team here have made since September. And um, I asked Sarah actually, um, when something's improved this much, you know, has it become easier or just a lot more work? And what she said, um, you know, really stuck with me. She said that when everyone is this excited to work with you and put you know, such a quality product out that it doesn't seem like much work at all. And I think that's a sentiment that um, I can certainly echo. Um, I was talking to Lisa last week and she said that, um, well, we initially met when I was uh, editor at the Durfee Hilltop uh, across the street. And she said um, it was great working with student journalists because you can really start to see uh, journalism catch on. And, you know, in some people you start to see that it's going to be a, a lifelong thing with them. Um, it was with me and I hope it is with many of you. And um, again, it's been great working with you. Appreciate it. Thank you. If I can take this opportunity, I'd like to recognize an instrumental um, part of our newspaper. And that would be Ryan Pease. Ryan, Ryan is right here on the, uh, on the front page of this issue. And um, Ryan, can you, can you come up here for a minute? <laughs> Working. <laughs> Ryan, I would like to present you with this camera on behalf of your hard <laughs> work. <laughs> We're a student newspaper, so we, we don't have the, uh, the means at this point to, uh, to, uh, to procure something like that. <laughs> but with our profitability, we might be able to soon, so. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Um, that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for um, coming. We, I'm sorry, were we? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. We have coffee and cookies and stuff in the back if you guys would like to help yourselves. Um, thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Um, and please pick up some issues of The Observer, pass them around in your office. Um, and thank you very much for your continued support. <laughs>